One of the best vehicles to use for proper asset protection is your trust structure. Now, a lot of people ask whether they should buy in a trust or buy in a company. These are fundamentally different vehicles. A trust does not have a shareholder, it has beneficiaries. And if the trust is structured correctly as a discretionary trust, the trustees will determine which beneficiaries and when they will receive any benefits. This is opposed to a company that has shareholders that have rights in the company. Now, how does this impact asset protection? The reality is, from a trust perspective, these beneficiaries do not actually have any claims against the trust unless the trustees say so. And this protects the trust from creditors of those beneficiaries attaching any rights because those rights do not vest in those beneficiaries. So this is fundamental to asset protection and why you would typically find that a trust forms the underlying vehicle to your investment journey. Now, there is a big warning when it comes to asset protection and the utilization of trusts. Because, because of years of exploitation and abuse, the courts have found that certain persons use trust as their alter ego. All this means is that they move all their assets into the trust and from there they treat those assets like they were it's, they still own those assets and this is problematic for, because from a court's perspective and from the public's perspective this is abuse because you're hiding them away you're concealing them from creditors um, in, in certain circumstances in certain cases you conceal them from your spouse but the reality is you're still utilizing them like they're your own and you're not benefiting any of the beneficiaries other than yourself so this is something to be very, very careful with. If you are going to move your assets to a trust for a level of asset protection, uh, you have to look at all the considerations and the context behind estate planning, why you're moving it, and you do need to administer those assets for the benefit of the beneficiaries.